it's finally here i just got some crazy new monster fish let's not waste any time let's open this box up and let's see what we got very nice packaging of course i got from the plug predatory fins the best monster fish in the game these guys are crazy this is a massive silver arowana this is a dotted tiger shovel nose, spotted tiger shovel nose instead of a striped tiger shovel nose they get way bigger and they are awesome i never owned one of them straight into acclimation i'm gonna let them acclimate for a bit so we can take a better look at them it's gonna take about 30 minutes for the fish to acclimate so i'm gonna run to the home depot and buy some large pvcs to be uh, hiding places for the catfish and some supplies to make sure the arowana is not gonna jump out of the tank the road to home depot montage and i'll see you guys back here just a second to put the new monster fish in the tank. Thirty minutes is up. The fish are done acclimating. I'm gonna put this that I bought at Home Depot as a hide for the catfish inside. That looks good. And the tape is to tape all the crevices that the arowana could jump out of because those fish are notorious to jumping out. I've lost three or four in the past this way and I don't want to lose another one. This arowana is crazy. silver arowana and the new spotted tiger shovel nose and they're gonna be living in the 75 gallon i just turned the lights off on the tank i'm gonna let these fish acclimate for a while so i'll see you guys in about six to eight hours the custom built tank for the monsters are is currently being built in the garage and the arowana and the tiger shovel nose will live together with these monster fish once they have the size to stay with these monsters. The fan favorite Bowser is gonna get a huge new enclosure. It's gonna at least double to triple the size of his current tub. It's gonna be way more natural. He's a happy, happy boy. And the koi, they can live through winter, but my flower horn and the injured Oscar is gonna move inside too when winter comes. But the koi can stay out here. They can handle winter. Also, the sharks, they're getting huge. And they're gonna join the monsters inside once the pond is complete as well. About two days later, the Arowana already started eating some tilapia chunks, which is great news. And I couldn't record it, but the tiger shovel nose already ate some by the looks of his belly. And I also used the tape, as I said, to close all the holes and crevices of the aquarium. And here's a sneak peek for you. This is the layout of the new monster custom built pond it's gonna be a 14 foot long custom built tank in the back for the monsters and then in the front a three foot long custom built tank for bowser let me know what you guys think down below just imagine a 3000 gallon pond in the back a 600 gallon pond here for bowser it will be about four foot high and bowser's will be about three foot high this is gonna be crazy and it's gonna be made in a way that no one else on YouTube has done it yet. This is gonna be crazy. I promise it's gonna be the craziest pond build you've ever seen on YouTube. And you don't wanna miss part one. So subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.